Well, let's talk about dynamite here. If you don't like it, too bad. Do your own podcast. Don't tell me how to do my job. So we had uh, Brian Danielson and five Allen Angels. And Brian Danielson, as promised, kicked his head in and knee-barred him and submitted him. That was the end of Allen Angels. And uh, Hangman Adam Page was doing commentary. They claimed he was replacing Jim Ross, but he was basically just there for the angle. And they've announced that Brian Danielson and Adam Page is taking place in two weeks. Winter is coming. A championship match free on television for everybody. And uh, they set that up here. And also next week, uh, they did an angle where John Silver uh, is going to be facing Brian Danielson in John Silver's hometown next week. And he is also going to get his head kicked in. Now, at the end, uh, we are not having the final match here in Adam Page's hometown, nor is the final match taking place in Aberdeen, Washington, Daniel Bryan's hometown. Uh, The show is actually taking place in Dallas because it's the home of the Cowboys. And I'd like to interview Tony Khan someday, and I want to ask him, like, how long this has all been planned? Because it is it is quite the deal that there just happens to be a Dark Order member from every city that they're running Rampage and Dynamite in. Seems like there might have been some long-term planning here. We had CM Punk beating Lee Moriarty. When uh, the show started today, I saw blokes in the chat going, My God, why was so, why was CM Punk so blown up? Because that's the story. They literally had MJF on commentary talking about, why is it taking this guy so long to beat Lee Moriarty? Why is it? I thought this guy was a top star. What's That's the story. MJF is claiming that CM Punk is supposed to be a big star, but he's struggling to beat everybody. And MJF is threatening to obviously beat him as well. And uh, we don't have a date for their match, but uh, we did have a stare down between CM Punk and... And Wardlow afterwards. And they gave Wardlow a big win on this show. So it appears that Punk will have to go through Wardlow before he gets to MJF. And that was originally a match scheduled for the uh, the last pay-per-view, the, the full gear show. At least according to uh, Tony Khan's clipboard that was photographed on the sidelines of that game. Can I ask you one sec- uh, question about this segment? Yes. What exactly did Britt Baker do to be inserted into this? What Dude, sense did that make? She's been in. CM Punk uh, has mentioned Britt Baker like three times in promos since uh, since he showed up. He mentioned that uh, that Britt Baker was a bigger star than MJF. He mentioned that uh, I forget the other one. There was another one at uh, anyway. He's mentioned her several times, and so MJF used that in the line that 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 uh, CM Punk is attempting to get into her pants. I guess it's just it was weird when Adam Cole comes out, which was a complete, you know, Adam Cole comes out next segment, doesn't say a word about it. He's pissed at Tony because he thinks Tony wants to mack on his girl. And then nothing is said about MJF basically calling her a skank and then CM Punk basically calling him a skank, too, by wanting to get into into bed with her. It just didn't really. It was kind of a. Uh, it was that well, was an interesting. There were a couple of interesting things. It was a good show, but there were a couple of glaring things that kind of were like uh, this. This didn't work out, I don't think, according to plan. I don't think that Adam Cole is going to be a heel over the long term. And at some point, he's going to turn babyface. And this is going to be the easiest feud in the world when CM Punk goes heel, which I think he will. Because I don't think he could have Adam Cole defending his girlfriend in the uh, in the uh, heel role. I would, but I guess uh, you'd have to turn w- her as well. But that's the thing. This nobody, will play I mean, into something she's a at heel some now. point. They, they they turned her. I mean, she's. I mean, she, I don't think they ever. They never turned her from <laughs> being a heel. I mean, that's the crazy part with her is everybody wants to cheer her anyway. Everybody is going to cheer her. She's got a gimmick that makes people cheer her. The the chant along with the DMD and all that sort of stuff. So it's inevitable because for both, you know, nobody wants to boo Adam Cole either. It doesn't seem like we had Adam Cole doing an entrance. Then he went to do commentary, but then Orange Cassidy came out, and then a brawl broke out, and then they all left. Yeah, that was one of those glaring things. It's just a way to set up an angle, but it was very bizarre. <laughs> yeah. I guess Adam Cole was going to do commentary on this Wardlow match, where Wardlow beat AC Adams, just squashed him. So that's leading, I'm sure, to uh, him and uh, CM Punk. We had the announcement that, uh, that Phoenix is injured. And apparently he's not injured, so this is some sort of storyline. So on Friday, it is going to be Penta and Pac 
versus FTR. So that's uh, coming up on Friday. We had Darby Allen and Sting versus the Gun Club, the battle of two undefeated teams. The Gun Club no longer undefeated. Uh, Colton Gunn was pinned, so his streak ends. Darby Allen and Sting won. It was a fun match. Crowd was super into it. And uh, this leads to, uh, well, actually, we'll talk about Tats here in a moment. Had a Jericho interview where he was beaten up backstage. Presumably, this was a pre-tape. It was done to keep him off this show and off Rampage because he's currently in uh, the U.K. doing a Fozzie tour, and so he is not available. Then we had a uh, segment with Taz and his crew and Leo Rush. And I don't have time to go into all of it, but I will just say when it was over, I fully expect Leo Rush and Dante Martin to eliminate all of Team Taz next week in the Diamond Battle Royal. Hallelujah. Because that Battle Royal is coming up next week. We had Ruby Soho beating Chris Statlander. A little sloppiness here and there, but overall it was a good match. And Soho won, and she will be going on to face Nyla Rose in the semifinals of the tournament. Rampage Friday, no spoilers. Sammy Guevara versus Tony Nice, FTR versus Death Triangle, this being Pac and Penta. And Jade Cargill will be facing, I forgot her name, but... Uh, uh, Janai Kai, a student of Thunder Rosa. I don't think I need to tell you what's going to happen in that match, if you cannot figure it out already. S no spoilers. And then, of course, the main event was Cody and Andrade in a street fight. And the big spot at the end was Brandy came out, and boy, was she hated. And she poured lighter fluid all over a table. They lit it on fire. Cody and Andrade went through the table. Cody's back is on fire. He covers Andrade. Poor Andrade's chest is on fire. It was a disaster. We'll talk about this more on the Brian and Vinny show tonight. Uh, but uh, don't play with fire, everybody. And didn't we learn that when we were like five? Don't play with fire. Back in a moment, Observer Live. CM Punk versus Garcia. Fast moving, neck breaker, leg sub hold on. I got a P. P gets like <laughs> <laughs> This was 10 and 8, 21. Close line. Pillman punches back and forth. How'd Pillman get in this match? <laughs> I don't know. How What's happening? If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.